So, where are we going this week? Let's head back to Scotland. Is it been good though? Hello again, welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday. On oh, wasn't my fault. As I said at the beginning, Black Dog. It's a uh, course, so it's Black Dog Centenary Black Reserve, aged and rare, blended Scotch whiskey, aged in Scotland, matured wood, and rich malt. So, don't know a lot about this, I've never tried it before. So it's nice to make into the box as well. Ooh, that's a rather nice shaped bottle as well, isn't it? I like the look at that. I like the takes quite wide shoulders and then tapers down. That's a bit unusual. So data packaging 28th of the 4th, 22 batch number 2. Mm-hmm. 42.8 percent, which is 75 proof. Apparently. So, hmm. Cool, interesting. Alright, so it's just a twist bottle. Just a twist bottle. Oh, it's one of those that has the the funny lid on it. Strange. Never quite sure about those. It takes ages to pour one of those. But it is more precise, I guess, so. As always, a 25ml standard pour. As I do with all the whiskies I review, that's what you've got to do. Right, so, so what does it smell like? The colour is it's a nice deeper amber, it's not as light as some, that's not too bad. Slightly caramelly, raisins, vanilla. Actually, it smells quite sweet to be honest, there's definitely like raisins and caramel and and vanilla and things like that. A little bit of woodiness to it as well. I'm not a huge fan. The smell kind of reminds me a little bit of Hay Club. It's got that kind of metallic -y sort of smell to it as well. Which isn't unpleasant, definitely. Hmm. Interesting. So, what does it taste like though? Definitely reminds me of something like that. Hmm. Quite interesting. It's got the sweetness still. It's, it's fairly sweet. It's like the orange to it as well. It's got the citrusy kind of orange flavours to it. So it starts off kind of sweet, caramel, a little bit of kind of fruitiness to it, a little woodiness as well, which isn't too bad. I'm not sure of slight smokiness to it, but it's more on the back end of smokiness. And it's, it's definitely, it's got the feel of like sherry or something like that. So, I mean, is it, is it matured in sherry casks? Does it say? It doesn't say a lot on the bottle about it. But that's what it seems to be. On the back end is definitely, it's kind of smooth, creamy, sort of very, very sherry-like in the finish, which is quite nice. It's, it has all those sort of sherry flavours, and it's that, it's that kind of creaminess you get with a lot of sherries and QC and things like that. It's just kind of a creamy liquid. It kind of feels like that on the back end, and it's still coating my tongue with like that sherry flavour. That's really nice. I quite like the, the finish on that. It's really good. Yeah, that's a really nice whiskey. So it's got some of the, the metallic hints that you get with like Hay Club and things like that, and some other blended whiskies. But it does have the sweetness and the caramel, a little bit of wood. A little bit of the kind of like fruit and raisins and that kind of thing. It's a little bit of orange. But then once all those flavours kind of die off, it's, it's kind of, you get all of those flavours going into one and then it just kind of goes, I don't know, it's like creaminess. So yeah, it's definitely a creaminess and that sort of sherry flavour it finishes with. It's a really good sherry finish. I'm really going to have a look at the box, see if it says it is sherry cask. Balanced, creamy, rich confectionery and sherry sweetness. So it says. I don't think it says much else about it. It doesn't say as such that it's finished in any particular casks or anything. Mature wood and rich mold, that's about all it says. But that, I'm, I'm actually really impressed with that. Right, let's see what happens. The usual drop of water, see if that changes it at all. 
not as interesting on those, definitely. There's a little bit more of the kind of the generic kind of blended scotch smell to it, I guess. Not sweet, not as complex. So what's the flavour do? No, oh, that most of the flavour is still there. It's not. It's still got the creamy finish, but in the middle you get a little bit of the sweetness and the fruit, and then you get like a spike of alcohol flavour. Just kind of sharp bits. Just that kind of alcohol vodka kind of. You know, it's just pure alcohol. You get that pure ethanol, and then it goes into the creamier. So it's, it's got a weird spike in it. I don't know why it does that. It's got all the flavours there. But they're kind of like, you get flavour, 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 alcohol, spike, flavour, finish. Which is not, not my sort of thing, definitely better by itself. But you get that nice finisher, I do really like that. I'm a fan of sherry though, I do quite like sherry, so that would explain why I quite like that. But it does linger on the tongue for quite a bit afterwards, and it's kind of sweet and sherry and cream. Yeah, that's what I quite like that. Mm, this will be interesting. So, let's go and get everything else as usual, and see how that affects the experience. Be right back. Okay, so here we are lined up as always with ice, although my large ice cube has cracked in the middle, which is a shame. Pepsi Max, because I hate Coke. A cup of nice hot black coffee. And the ingredients for an old fashioned. So there's simple syrup and bitters in there with lots of ice as it should be. So, the usual part, everything gets a measure, apart from obviously the cocktail, which has a double measure. So. Single measure, and this, this is going to take forever with this weird spout. Do they not want me to pour this? Yeah, look, it's just slow no matter how far I tip it. It still does the same thing. That's quite annoying. In some ways it's good because you can't over pour very easily. I'm doing this quite precise today. This is quite weird. But no matter what I do, it will not go faster. One. Yes, this is a lot of whiskey for one sitting. It's actually seven shots of whiskey, but hey, it was counting me. It's all for science. That's what matters. Things I have to do for people so they know how things taste. My battery died. Ah, see, I'm too used to having it plugged in all the time as a webcam for when I'm doing gaming videos, but I've got it plugged in now, so hopefully it'll last a little bit longer. So anyway, so we've got all of those poured. Now the usual, give everything a little bit of a mix, so it has the best possible chance to incorporate and gives a good result. Got to be fair, of not So, firstly, with the large block of ice, it's had a little bit of time to start melting and cool down. Glass is nice and cold, so that's good. Again, when you put ice in whiskey, it tends to tone down and smells and everything else because of the temperature change. It does affect it quite a bit, so yeah. Not a lot there. Once again, it's a generic blended whiskey kind of smell. Once again, I go back to Hate Club because that's the most kind of generic flavour for a lot of them, kind of that metallic, alcoholic kind of smell. But it's not unpleasant, it's just not as good as the actual smell you get normally. But there we go. Yeah. It's become a generic blended scotch, really. Nothing offensive, but nothing to make it stand out. The, the back end isn't even as nice and creamy and sherry kind of flavours to it, so at this point there's still a little bit of an aftertaste which is slightly sweet, slightly creamy, but nothing compared to how it is in the nothing at all. But it's still quite nice with ice, it's one of the better with ice I think. I just got Pepsi. It sweetens it up. It does bring the vanilla and so on, I don't get any of the sherry flavours and that sort of thing, or the woody kind of spiciness or anything like that, but it definitely sweetens it up with a kind of vanilla and a little bit of fruit. Mm. 
it's actually quite pleasant. It's quite nice. It's, it's not huge amounts of flavour. Once again, going back to like Jack Daniels and so on, as you tend to when you're talking about Coke and whiskey. Jack Daniels is kind of like the gold standard in there. There's not as many flavours. Once again, Scotch won't have because it's more subtle, whereas a bourbon and Tennessee whiskeys and that sort of thing tend to be much more bold and stronger flavours that hold up to it. So it's reasonable. It's quite pleasant. It's slightly fruity, slightly vanilla. It, it does sweeten up the, the Pepsi in, in quite a nice way. Although I don't like sweet things. It does work quite well, so not too bad. Now the test, coffee. Ooh. Slightly sweeter. It does once again take the bitterness out of the coffee. But there's definitely something a little bit more there as well. It does have the slight fruitiness to it. Slight vanilla tones as well. Yeah. That's surprisingly good. With milk, that would probably be quite nice because it would have like the creaminess and the vanilla. That I think would work really well with a white coffee. I don't drink white coffee, that's just not something I enjoy. I like black coffee. I do occasionally, I'll have the odd cappuccino and that sort of thing. Might well make them occasionally in the odd latte, but yeah, that would work because it does make it slightly creamy. Slightly vanilla, a little bit of fruitiness to it. Not bad at all. Okay. I'm not expecting a lot with this, but because it's already got a little bit of the orange and vanilla and things like that, it may work. Let's see. It's okay. Nothing kind of stands out. The sweetness and the bitters kind of override anything else that's in there. Once again, stick with bourbons for something like a cocktail like that. An old fashioned should really be bourbon. It's a waste of Scotch whiskey. I'm not saying that the bourbons aren't as good, but once again, it's the strong flavours that show through a lot better when it's being mixed with something. Scotch tends to be much more of a subtle mixer, so yeah, something that's strong like that, not really. Not really working for me, unfortunately. It's much better by itself. Okay, let's go back down the line. Because that tastes much sweeter now after having the bitters. Again, it's nice. It has that creamy vanilla kind of essence to it, which is quite nice. And the one I did like, the Coke. Let's go back to it. Yeah, I really like that. That has been one of my favourites with Coke so far, with Pepsi. Whichever, they're all similar. It does sweeten it up, it puts a bit of vanilla and a little bit of the kind of creamy finish to it, which is actually really pleasant, I quite like that. Okay, back to the arse. Too generic. A little bit of the back end, but it's lost all of the the kind of creamy sherryness of it, which really made it stand out a little bit different. Let's see what this is like now. Yeah, can't beat it. Neat and Coke are the best too. Coffee was okay, but have it with Coke, definitely, and have it neat. The others. Not so much. At a stretch, coffee would work, but I think it probably work better as always with white coffee. But neat is really nice, and it's the Coke that surprised me. Really, if you have this, try it with Coke. It's actually really, really pleasant. I don't mind that at all. That was interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Well, I didn't know what to expect. It's not one I've really heard of before. But I'm really impressed. I quite like that. That's definitely one I would have in Coke again, and obviously I have a neat because I prefer neat anyway. So maybe I'm biased like that. Maybe if you've tried it, let me know what you think. If you picked up similar notes to me, did you find it worked really well with Coke, or did you hate it with Coke? It'll be quite interesting to find out what other people think, rather than just my humble opinion, which could be wrong. It is, of course, all subjective to different people's tastes and that sort of thing. So it'll be interesting to have a bit of a discussion, find out what you think. So please let me know, that would be quite great. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. That would be quite useful for the channel. The more subscribers I get, the more people will get to see the video. And that would be quite good. And obviously like and comment as well would be fantastic. So please join me again soon. Watch some of my other videos if you want. There's lots and lots of videos there. And join me again next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.